There were also new clashes in Libya between rebels and forces loyal to Muammar Gaddafi. This has NATO launched another round of airstrikes in the capital. CBS News correspondent Alan Pizzi in Tripoli for us this morning. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Well, the screws are tightening on the Libyan regime, both economically and on the military front, where the rebels have stepped up their attacks. Rebel forces trying to push out of Misrata claim to have beaten back loyalist troops but suffered some of the heaviest casualties to date. Commanders bemoan what they see as a lack of NATO support in the form of airstrikes they say they need to push further. To the west of the capital, Tripoli, a small rebel force managed to push their way through the town of Zawiya, about 30 miles from Tripoli. If the rebels managed to take that town, they would effectively cut off Muammar Gaddafi's main and perhaps only supply road out of the country, the road to Tunisia. The Libyan leader showed up on his state television playing chess with the head of the Russian Chess Federation, who claims, among other things, to have traveled with aliens. A serious Russian envoy is on his way here on a peace mission in the next few days. But the message he is carrying is that Gaddafi should go. But as far as officials here are concerned, that is already a state of checkmate. The safety valve of this country is Gaddafi. If Gaddafi is no longer around, then expect a scenario close to Yugoslavia or Iraq or Somalia or any other country that was plagued by civil war. The official line continues to be that the Libyan government is in control of almost all of the country and that every NATO airstrike simply solidifies support behind Gaddafi. That seems unlikely, but is impossible to prove either way. Chris? CBS's Alan Pizzi in Tripoli for us this morning. Alan, thank you very much.